Hey, what's up folks, how's it going? This is Watch from NW Technology, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at a product that we actually haven't covered before on the channel. That is a printer. Now the printer that we're using right now in the office is absolutely ancient. It's over a decade years old, has none of the modern capabilities as something like this. This is the Pentum M7102DW. That's obviously not the most glamorous name, but it is a printer after all with some key important features, including wireless, Wi-Fi integration, easy to set up uh, using just your smartphone, tablet, PC, Mac, Linux operating system. Uh, it is a, obviously a three-in-one, so it's great for anybody that's gonna do a lot of high volume printing, whether you're a small office to kind of medium-sized office, or just in a space like us where we're printing a lot of labels and uh, printing a lot of documents as well. So without any further ado, let's take a look at what this printer has to offer. Now, firstly, let's talk about some of the key capabilities of this Panda printer. Firstly, in terms of speed and uh, printing capabilities, it can print up to 33 ppm on A4 and 35 ppm on letter. That's papers per minute. So more than fast enough for a single user that does a lot of printing on a day-to-day -day basis, or even a small to medium-sized office with a dozen or so users using a single printer. Now, it is important to note this is a monofilament or monochromatic printer. So no color printing. And if you're going to be printing any kind of photos or anything like that, this is not the printer for that. It can do so from a utilitary basis, but your results are going to be a very poor nonetheless, since this is optimized for mostly documentation printing. Now, being a three-in-one, the overall design is fairly conventional for a printer of this category. Starting from the bottom up, you have the automatic feeding tray where you can house your A4 letter media, and you can make uh, those adjustments for the different sizes of paper within the tray itself and the tray capacity is around 500 pages on standard A4. On top of the automatic tray we have the manual feeding tray where you can specifically use different sizes of a paper and manually feed them into the printer without having to open up the automatic tray and having to move all your paper and make those sizing adjustments. On top of that you have the output bin where all of your printed paper is stored and based on the size of things this can easily handle anywhere between two to three 300 pages without any major concerns. Now above the output bin, you're going to find the scanning bed. And in terms of the scanning capabilities, in terms of size, the bed measures around 216 by 356 millimeters. So that's the maximum scanning size capabilities for whatever document you're using. On top of the scanning bed, you also have an automatic documentation feeder where you have a maximum scanning or feeding speed more specifically of up to 24 ppm on A4 size and 25 papers per minute on letter size documents. In addition to that, you can also uh, duplex print or double side uh, print as well on this printer, which is fairly standard on most of these three in ones. Now, in terms of the printer cartridge itself, inside this laser printer, you have a separate drum as well as cartridge assembly, making maintenance and replacing the uh, cartridge itself a lot more economical compared to older generation printers where you're going to have to replace this entire assembly, which can get quite expensive. Now, with this printer, you get the starter cartridge which has a capacity of up to 1500 pages and there is two other variants of this cartridge where you can print up to 3000 and 6000 pages now the drum itself on this printer does have to be eventually replaced and has a lifespan rating of up to 12,000 pages. Furthermore, upon the purchase date of the printer, you also get a one-year warranty that will cover you for any other parts that might go wrong in this printer besides the toner and cartridge. Now you can also see that we have a control interface with a monochromatic LCD readout, which will allow you to make adjustments in terms of how many copies you're making, as well as turn your Wi-Fi on and off and change some of the uh, settings within the printer itself. The menu system and layout is fairly archaic and rudimentary like many of the printers in this category, but luckily you can change pretty much all of the important settings using the mobile app or within your PC or Mac. And that brings us to the best part of this printer and that is the setup process. If you ever tried to set up a new printer, it's always a nightmare and a headache, but not with this one. Thanks to the built-in Wi-Fi, you can easily set up the whole printer just with your smartphone or tablet. You uh, basically download the iOS or Android 
Pantom app. Press the Wi-Fi button on the printer. An operational guide will automatically print out. You follow the simple instructions on the guide as well as the installation manual that came with the printer and within a few short moments it'll connect to your home network and you're ready to print. Now you can do so using the air printer functionality on iOS or simply just use it as a network attached printer on any other operating system. Furthermore, as I mentioned earlier, it's a lot easier to change some of the settings and parameters of the printer itself using the app rather than to have to use uh, the on-screen built-in display within the printer itself. Now, if you don't want to use the app itself uh, to set up the printer, you can do so within the IP address of the printer, which is pretty simple. You basically go into the menu system of the printer, select item number seven, info report, and then select item number four, which is print configuration. And here it'll print out the print configuration sheet where you find the SSID as well as the password. You're going to go ahead and directly connect to the Wi-Fi of the printer using this information on your PC or mobile device. Once connected, go into the mobile browser and uh, type in the IP address of the printer found on the configuration sheet. Log in with the uh, default profile, which is admin and uh, password is just simply six zeros. Then go into uh, settings on the top menu on on the side menu, go into wireless network. And uh, here you want to make sure uh, the wireless network is turned on and you can authenticate which specific home network that you have with the SSID of your home network as well as your password and then apply and it'll automatically connect to your home network. Once applied, the printer is now authenticated to your base network and you're ready to print from any device. In addition to that, if you want to set up things like the old fashioned way with a USB cable, you can do so by just connecting it to your PC, Mac or Linux machine, download the driver, go through the installation process and it'll do so pretty much the same way as we've done in the other methods. We'll authenticate the printer to your network ID so you can print on any device. Now the actual print quality itself is actually fairly good for documents. Uh, everything is very legible, clear and easy to read. There is going to be a little bit of fading at times if you have a high volume documents with lots of words and things like that. And I did find in terms of the copying capabilities using the scanner that there's a little bit of fading within the middle portion of the page. It's just not as quite as crisp as the original printed uh, version that we scanned in. And of course, you do have to realize that the cartridge inside is brand new. It does need to break in with a couple of uh, more prints to get better consistent quality out of the uh, prints. But uh, just keep in mind that this is specifically targeted towards printing documents. Now, if you are going to print any kind of even black and white photos, just keep in mind that a laser printer like this is going to perform quite badly in terms of reproducing what you actually see on screen with that black and white uh, photo. And uh, even if you're going to copy uh, any kind of uh, photo media, the uh, results will be degraded from the original. Now, of course, understandably, you do have to understand that this printer is not made for printing photos. It's specifically designed as a documentation printer for office use. And I think uh, for that purpose, it definitely does the job. Now, at its price point, it is quite competitive. I personally got this thing at under $170, and uh, it sometimes hovers around that price when it's on sale, or up to uh, $209 or so on Amazon.com. And even at that price, it is still fairly good value considering the fact that it's super easy to uh, set up using your smartphone. It has all the wireless capabilities as well as functionality we talked about in this video. So really on that, guys, that's really it. I think this is going to make an awesome addition uh, to the office. It's certainly going to make uh, the workflow process of printing a lot more easier thanks to the wireless capabilities. And now I can finally print using my iPhone, which is a first for me. Uh, believe it or not. Uh, but uh, the only thing I want to ask from you guys is what printer you're using uh, right now. Do you have wireless capabilities? Are you using a 3-in-1, a simple inkjet printer? Love to hear your thoughts. If you're interested in uh, this or anything else, check the description uh, down below for more details. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you subscribe, have post notifications turned on, and like the video. We'll see you real soon in the next one. Take care.